Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Mr. Raj and you are watching Code Freaks. In this video, I am going to show the IPA 15 mark question which was asked in the previous year IPA exam. So let's begin with it. So in this video, I am going to show a new uh, new task that find the first non-repeating character from a string. So in this, this question is very very simple. So let me enter into the question first. Okay. So many of the person while reading this question may not be understanding what is the question all about. So let me try to explain the question first. So I am giving a particular input as hello. Okay, this is my string input and this is my character. Uh, this is my output. Okay, sorry. Hello, hell. So this is my output. Okay. So here consider this H E L L O. Okay. So this H E L L O. How many duplicate elements are there? See, this L and this L. Only L is a duplicate element. So this H, H and E are not repeating. Okay. So I wrote this H and E first. And L is a repeating element. And I wrote L first. And I try to break the statement. Okay. So this is only the program. So I am going to enter into the coding section. So I think that everybody understood the how to, uh, uh, everybody understood the explanation. So I be moving into the coding section. Okay. Guys, finally we are entering into the coding session. So in this coding session, I am be using Java as my programming language, and I am using Visual Studio Code as my code editor. So guys, finally we are entering into the coding. So for that, I will be creating a new class. So I think that everyone, everybody understood the question, right? So uh, the question is to find the non-repeating character from a element uh, string. Okay. So we are going to find it. So I am going to create a new class known as rep dot Java. Okay. So just a new class. So I created a new file name called rep.java and I created a new class known as rep. Okay. So then I am going to insert the main method. And then I am going to insert the scanner class scanner is equal to new scanner of system dot il. Okay. So I insert the scanner class and then uh, after that since I want to buy the string input. Okay. So firstly I want to import this scanner class. Okay. So since I want to buy the string input I am putting as str sc dot next name and i'll be copying the string into a new line so i'll be marking creating an another string with a null okay I, i'll be inserting it with null so my string spelling is wrong okay oh okay i'll be inserting the string with a null okay so then after that i'll be putting a uh, for loop for in the equal to zero i less than str dot length now wait a second str here is tr okay str dot length and i plus plus okay so then inside that for in j equal to 0 j less than or equal to i j plus plus and inside that if i equal to equal to j then the condition uh, then it will be uh, if i equal to equal to j i will be printing as s equal to s plus str dot caret of i okay so i will be printing it like this st uh, str dot caret of i okay so after that if this else uh, if condition is not i will be putting if else if uh, uh, str dot caret of str dot caret of i equal to equal to str dot caret of j then it will be count plus plus okay so don't worry i will be explaining this coding okay count plus plus then i will be putting a break okay so then after the end of the line at the end okay i will be finding the end of the line with a second okay so if this count is greater than zero if this count is greater than zero i will be break okay so then i will be printing the yes system dot out dot print ln yes okay so this is my coding so i will be explaining what is this coding all about so this coding is nothing but h e l l o hello, -O. hello. Okay, so consists a string hello, and then uh, this string will be having a size length uh, length of phi. Okay, the string is having a length of phi. 
it will be the int will be int i is equal to zero i less than five i plus plus j equal to zero j less than zero uh, equal to zero since i equal to zero j less than or equal to zero if it is checking i equal to equal to j so zero equal to equal to zero so it will be uh, condition is true then it will be printing first value as h okay so then it will be coming inside it and then i will be incrementing as one and then uh, j will be zero j uh, it will be checking i equal to equal to zero one equal to equal to zero then it will not and then it will be checking str dot caret of uh, one equal to equal to str dot caret of zero so it will be checking str dot caret of e equal to equal to h e is not equal to equal to h and then it will be coming here and then j will be incremented as one and then i less uh, one less than or equal to one and then in the condition is satisfied then it will be coming here one equal to one and then here condition is satisfied then it will be as printing e okay then it will be coming here and then this uh, one will be incremented to two and then it will be coming here and then it will be two equal to equal to uh, two equal to equal to zero it will be checking and then it will not be uh, two equal to equal to uh, two zero is not equal and then it will be coming and then str dot uh, character of two equal to equal to str dot character of zero uh, L equal to equal to H it is checking so L is not equal to H and then it will be incrementing uh, is that 1 and then it will be coming here it will be checking uh, 2 equal to equal to 1 or not not it is not equal and then it will be coming 2 equal to equal to 1 or str dot character of 2 equal to equal to str dot character of 1 or not it will is not equal and then it will be coming here and then it will be checking if 2 equal to equal to 2 or not yes 2 equal to equal to 2 and then it is printing hello h e l okay since this statement is uh, occurring so it will be printing as printing as h e l okay then then it will be printing as h i equal to equal to i will be incremented and i will be becoming 3 and then it will become a j equal to 0 j less than or equal to 3 and then it will be putting uh, j i equal to uh, i equal to equal to j 3 equal to equal to 0 or not it will be checking and then it will be coming here and then str dot caret of uh, 3 equal to equal to str dot caret of 0 it will be checking and then it will be uh, it is not equal and then it will be moving here j equal to 1 and then str dot caret of uh, 3 equal to equal to str dot caret of 1 or not see here uh, 1 is here and str dot caret of 3 is here ok l equal to equal to e it is checking and it is not and then it will be coming here and str uh, j equal to equal to 2 it will be incremented and then str dot caret of 3 equal to equal to str dot caret of 2 l equal to l so uh, this condition is true and then it will be sati uh, the count will be becoming 1 okay count will be initialized with 0 right it will be count plus plus it will be 1 and then it will be coming here if count it will be breaking okay then it will be breaking and then it will be coming here and if count value is greater than 0 so 1 is greater than 0 and then it will be coming here as yes so it will be breaking if this condition is satisfied then it will be breaking and then the yes will be satisfied okay so the yes will be occurring and then it will be satisfied uh, it will be printed what is here my output is this one okay so this one is will be printing here okay so this is our coding guys so let's move into the output okay so as uh, when they are mentoring into the output session, so in this output session I think that they will be understood the code that I have written before. So in this output session I am going to visualize uh, my check my code whether it is right or wrong. So uh, let me check my code uh, so so that I can I want to implement I want to input my particular string. So I want to input my string as hello H E L hello. Okay. So guys I got out to that H E L. So here why this is HEL because uh, H and D are repeating are not repeating so it will, it cannot be uh, taken into it and L is repeating two times so it will be taken and up to that it will be uh, breaking the state okay so I think that they will be understood the question so uh, if you don't if you don't understand it please uh, feel free to post it in the comment box that uh, I didn't understand it I will be surely replying to it so guys uh, I will be meeting more soon in the next video with a new task so till then goodbye bye bye see you I will do practice daily and daily okay as I did so for that goodbye bye bye see you take care bye bye